So this next one is a dish that I've been wanting to do for a while. An old coworker of mine had recommended a while ago. Uh, he is a vegetarian from India, and this is a vegetarian dish from India. So similar to a large number of Indian dishes, this is gonna be a gravy, or as Westerners like myself would call it, a curry. And it's gonna start out in much the same fashion as those would start. Into a large Dutch oven, I'm going to add a few tablespoons of ghee. You can totally use vegetable oil for this. It's totally approved. It's been in all the recipes that I referenced. I just used ghee because it was an option. Next up, I've got some cumin. And just now I'm realizing that I probably should have used cumin seed. That would have made more sense with the sort of aroma releasing preheating uh, that we're doing here. Uh, but this will do probably the same thing. Next, I'm going to mince up about a third of an onion. Next up, I'm gonna mince up some garlic. You can use as much garlic as you want here. It's gonna be uh, competing with multiple other flavors, so don't worry about adding too much. And we're gonna peel and mince some ginger. I like to use the back of my knife to peel it. Uh, but feel free to use a spoon as well. But don't take my word for it, because I'm a novice at this. Next up, we're gonna add in some chilies. I've got three Thai chilies here. They don't really lend any flavor to the dish. It's really just for heat. So whatever your spice level is, go with that. If you don't like any spice, don't add them at all. Uh, and if you want a ton of heat, add a uh, Carolina Reaper. Me personally, I like a little bit of heat, so I'm gonna add in the whole peppers with the seeds. Next up, I got a couple of vine tomatoes. I'm gonna cut them into just manageable pieces for my food processor. I'll dump them in, give it a good pulse, just to get them down to a puree. Mix that in thoroughly, and we're gonna bring it up to a simmer. And once you got some bubbles going, you can add in the pasta. Just kidding. We're gonna add in some turmeric, about a teaspoon. And this is called asafetida, as you cannot read on the label. Uh, and it's got this kind of interesting um, lemony, garlicky, umami bomb kind of uh, flavor. And this is some Kashmir chili powder. It doesn't have a smell that I can really like put my finger on. It just smells like any other chili powder. So let's say if you don't have this, feel free to use some cayenne powder or even uh, gochugaru. Next up, we've got the namesake of the dish. This is some kalachana that I've been soaking in my fridge overnight. Dump those in with their water because uh, you want that water to loosen everything up. And then we're going to add some garam masala. It was just a general Indian spice blend. And some methi, which is dried fenugreek leaves. If you don't have this, I would say use dried parsley because I could not tell the difference. And this is looking pretty thick, so I'm gonna add in about another cup of water. And feel free to do this throughout the cooking process if things are starting to look a little dry. And now we play the waiting game. Uh, I'm gonna throw the lid on the pot and let it simmer for about two hours uh, is what I gave it. Uh, your other option, which I saw in a lot of recipes, is to use a pressure cooker. But uh, you'll have to look up how to use one of those because I have no idea. is everything I would ever want out of an Indian dish. It's got these layers of flavor. It's earthy, it's aromatic, it's got a little heat going on. Uh, the chickpeas are nice and tender. They've got a little bit of a snap to them. Goes well with rice. <laughs> definitely plan on making this again. It was definitely worth the wait. Cheers.